if it exists, if it exists, then um, what implications does it have for uh, human specialness? So human specialness is a um, is a uh, is a is it's a concept that needs to be properly understood. So it, it doesn't mean uh, there's a verse in the Quran where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says that we created human beings in the best of forms, and then we reduced them to the lowest of the low. Mm. So yeah. the fact that human beings are special doesn't mean that they are inherently um, the best thing and most beloved thing to God. They have to do something to, to become that way. Um, and uh, so the specialness of human beings refers to a potentiality that may be realized by some of them, may not be realized by some of them. So actually, so if an in intelligent extraterrestrial were to exist, actually a particular intelligent extraterrestrial might be more special, more beloved by God than a particular human being, because a particular human being made bad choices and, um, and went to the hellfire and the intelligent extraterrestrial made good choices and he goes to paradise. Mm -hmm. But just like the jinn, uh, humans and jinn, same, same idea. Um, but human beings have a, uh, they they have they have they have a higher potential and there's a cosmic significance that they uh -huh. have that uh, that's mentioned um, in the story of creation is uh, it's related to um, human beings and uh, there are um, a number of verses in the Quran that uh, that illustrate this um, and there's also some statements from from scholars so what I did in this paper it's a uh, in this paper I assumed. I assumed I worked from within the Sunni scholarly tradition. So meaning that within the Sunni scholarly tradition, there are a number of positions on which the late uh, uh, scholarly tradition kind of coalesces on. And they are, they're considered givens. Um, and so one of these, and so I worked within these givens. I didn't, I didn't, um, I, I explained where these givens are coming from, but I hope to explain it in greater detail in a, in a, in a future article. So in the second um, set of slides, um, this kind of a statement is typical amongst uh, amongst uh, the scholars of Hadith, amongst the scholars of Tafsir. This is from a scholar called Abdul Rauf Al Munawi. He's the author of a book called Faydul Qadir, which is a commentary on Suyuti's um, compilation, alphabetical um, listing of uh, of, of uh, a very large number of short hadiths from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's widely cited. So he said that Allah has surely honored the human being more than everything else that he has created. He is the cream, the quintessence, and the purpose of the universe. He is the one for whom he has subjugated everything in the heavens and the earth. This is interesting. There's a verse um, that, that comes that, that he's alluding to uh, when he says this. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, don't you see that Allah has subjugated to you, for you, sakhara lakum, has both meanings, subjugated to you, for you, i.e. for your benefit, everything in the heavens and everything in the earth. So this is actually now, there's, uh, there's uh, some very interesting work that's being done by Michael Denton of mm. the Discovery Institute, where he's argued scientifically that human beings have a privileged place in the universe. So he says, he says that yes, Copernicus displaced human beings from the physical, from being the physical center of the universe. But when you, but when you, then this is what design, this is what the design in the universe shows. So any argument from design that you make, the fine tuning of the constants of the universe. Um, the distance of the earth from the sun, the length of the night and day, they, all of these arguments, they're based on this idea that if the universe had been a little bit different, then we would not have existed. Mm. We would not have existed. So mm. there's, an, there's an anthropocentric aspect to design arguments. And mm. so from this perspective, like scientists who make this argument, they say that 
that that that what I observe in the universe shows that actually we are special. 